Okay, quick tour of the concept of the transformation vacation. I am a proponent of Americans taking a transformation vacation because all of our riches and excess and comforts and tendency, we tend to flow towards what's pleasant and comfortable for ourselves, which is not always the best way of life. Being disciplined toward a goal means having to face circumstances, difficulties, and break out of our comfort zones. So in America, since the layers and layers of comfort are so enormous, and I could give you statistics and go into details about what it's like in the whole world compared to what we've got, but I'm a proponent of Americans taking a transformation vacation of some sort. I tend to promote trips to Outcry in the Barrio Center in San Antonio, trips to the Mission Bible Training Center, Mission Teens Centers, which are both free programs. And people who have no drug or alcohol problems, but rather know that they need to close, them, close themselves off from their bills and entertainments and comforts and peer pressure and friend group and set themselves in a disciplined atmosphere that's a family atmosphere so that they can rest and their mind can move with truth or with God if you're afraid of talking about God. It's a peace time where you rethink what you're doing. So, in order to have an effective transformation vacation, it's, you must, it is very wise to prepare an atmosphere to be released to. So when you're finished your transformation vacation, you're going into an atmosphere that is going to be able to support your ideas, your new inspiration. When you take your transformation vacation, your priorities are going to change. You're actually going to see pathways for your life that are successful and excellent and that are appropriate to you that may be completely different than what you have been doing. So when you come out, you need an atmosphere to support your new convictions. You need an honesty family atmosphere because you can maintain honesty once it's established. You have not been hanging out on your devices. You have not built up relationships that need to be questioned in their value and validity. Many relationships that we build are comforts and distractions and things that are like, oh, I like this because of these reasons, but they are not in line with your highest calling or purpose. That doesn't mean that the people are bad. It means that you have gotten comfortable in an atmosphere, a relationship, a style, um, a set of priorities that are not actually best for you. For a best transformation vacation, prepare an atmosphere to be released to an honesty family atmosphere because you can maintain honesty once you've established it in your transformation vacation. My first experience with the transformation vacation, I had gone into the transformation vacation literally like a house burning down. Like, oh my gosh, I need to change what I'm doing and I need to change it now and it's such an emergency that I went into my transformation vacation without full understanding, without preparation of what I was going to do when I came out, without precepts and guidelines. The precepts and guidelines were not being set up for me in the atmosphere of the transformation vacation. Actually, to be honest, the atmosphere of the transformation vacation that I took the expectation was that I was, when I was released, I was going to be going into kind of a um, church-going or God-focused atmosphere. But the expectation and description of what I was going to do when I was released 
was very amorphous. It was actually very weak. I was not prepared for my exit. And one of the things that I am doing to be a servant to my friend Jim Bracken, who is the founder of the Mission Bible Training Centers, is to present new curriculum that prepares a person as soon as they come into their transformation vacation, even if they quit after two weeks. They are going to be given a curriculum that trains them immediately how to handle what they're going to do when they leave. Even if they only embrace some of the principles that they learn in their transformation vacation, they are going to be built and trained and taught how to be honesty family when they are released, how to create a home or an apartment that has the goodies of truth in place as a courageous, fun, wonderful thing. Hey, we get to take off the mask of the world and be real about everything and maintain a realness about everything so that you know, the ordinary stuff that we hide and don't talk about is on the table with our friends and we can say, hey, you know, I'm heading in this direction, but I think I made a mistake. Let's talk about this. Honesty family. So when I went into my transformation vacation, there had been no preparation. And I discovered the, the atmosphere was not preparing me for the exit. And also we, those who care about the American family, those who care about the American family, regardless of whether you're religious or non-religious. The Family Honesty Workshop, the Honesty Family Concept, is two atmospheres. A non-religious Family Honesty Workshop and also a Focus on God Workshop that brings in all of the attributes of Jesus, God, Church, and Bible, especially the three gifts of Holy Spirit and power from on high. And number two, the teachings of Jesus, the detailed teachings of how to be friends of God from our youth in the home and in the family and on the street and in the public. the utilization of big meeting places to learn things and to interact with God is very secondary to the home and the public atmosphere and how to behave. So whether religious or non-religious, here's the deal. We, whether you're religious or non-religious, we must create new life community atmospheres in order to support the newly empowered ones who are taking their transformation vacation. The newly empowered ones who have taken their transformation vacation are going to be a benefit to us because their cleansing experience, their honor, purity, honesty, new vision, new inspiration, new excellence, when they come among us, we're going to be like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. I never thought of that. That is heavenly. That is from your truth experience growing because you're, you've been separate from your, all your ordinary stuff and your freedoms to just do what feels right. Even if it's your own little religious bandwagon, you're creating your own little religious bandwagon. We must create new life community atmospheres to support the newly empowered ones. We must create honesty family groups. We must create, if we are more religious, Jesus, God, church, Bible focused, we must create communion groups. We as citizens of America must create truth groups so that our children 
are growing up opening their consciences opening their hearts to one another because in that atmosphere someone has a solution oh i've had that problem before here let come to my house let me show you how it works out or oh you're sad or depressed because your grandmother is very old and she lives in texas and you're worried that she won't see you again i'm glad that you mentioned this i have money for a bus ticket here's a bus ticket I consider that to be an important thing for all of us, that you go and see your grandmother. See, these truth groups, when you interact with the family honesty and you're sharing the things in the family honesty workshop, the five areas, my bad, my situation or issue that feels like a problem, my personality problems that I wish I could change and I need help with, my relationship repairs that I need. I need a peacemaker. I need a mediator between me and this person to help fix this relationship. And my habits. I have habits that I believe are not best for me, and I want to figure out how to change the habits. In the Family Honesty Workshop, we have this truth group reality and when we hear what the little things that one another are going through to most of us they don't seem like very much at all but as we hide these things inside they get bigger and bigger and more worrisome and and they become the depression source they become the source of self-destructive behavior or escapist behavior or addictions overeating taking drugs watching cooking shows on the TV to escape our thoughts because it makes us feel happy to think about nice food and how it tastes. There's so many escapist behaviors that we have in a rich, comfortable society. That's why we need the transformation vacation. That's why we need to create new life community atmospheres to support the newly empowered ones the honesty family groups, the communion groups, the truth groups to help American peoples. So, for a good transformation vacation, we must prepare. We must prepare. We must become... We must have understanding on what a person is going through on the way into the transformation vacation. High and essential things that they can be taught and trained in the transformation vacation, even if they quit. From the first day, they should be given advice and guidance on how to be an honesty family and a truth group when they come out. And we must labor to create atmospheres to support the newly empowered ones that they can come into and have further developments so that they can turn their home into a house of a truth group, a, you know, the goodies. They can have all the goodies on. Their own little apartment can become famous in their neighborhood because they are a truth group or they have a certain set of precepts. They, they start walking in and everyone in the neighborhood notices and the neighborhood is invited in to learn some principles that they can go home and put in place. This is the work. Thanks for listening.